Welcome to the Apocalypse Podcast, a production by Matilda and Alex. My name is Tom Deblansky, and today we will be talking about heat waves, their danger to you, your family, and all of society. We will talk about the history of this natural disaster, its science, and what causes it, how this disaster can affect you and the rest of the world, and how you can stay safe. Now to Deborah Manning with Heatwave History. Thanks, Tom. Well, the history of heat waves is a very hot topic. Especially when you're talking about the disaster in Chicago. From July 13th to 17th in 1995, Chicago and much of the Midwest experienced very high temperatures. 730 people died during the incident. It warms my heart that it wasn't a thousand. In other news, during a period of 160 days, from Halloween to April 7th, the Western Australia town Marble Bar set the world record of consecutive days with temperatures over 100 degrees. This caused many bushfires spreading about the area. However, some citizens took advantage of the extreme heat by going to the beach, but some simply could not take the extreme weather and were forced to the hospital. Are you feeling the heat of this news, Tom? <laughs> Nearly 35,000 people died in the European heat wave of 2003. Much of this heat was concentrated in France, where 15,000 people died. In Portugal, temperatures reached 118 degrees. I suppose they just couldn't take the heat. Most heat waves have been recorded in North America, particularly in northern Mexico and the southwestern United States. And now to Amana Norosho Mamanana for the science of this natural disaster. Thank you, Debra. Now the science of heat waves is usually studied by climatologists. Scientists have connected heat waves in certain areas to the theory of global warming. That because so many of our industrial emissions go into the atmosphere, the greenhouse effect is taking place by letting the sun's radiation in but not letting it out. So slowly making the Earth's temperature warmer. The students at Caltech proved that in areas where more greenhouse gases are emitted, the likeliness for a heat wave outbreak is greater. Okay. Now, I bet you all are wondering what causes this disaster, other than the stupidity of humankind. Well, heat waves are also formed when high pressure areas strengthen and remain over a region. The high pressure area moves slowly and the air under it is forced to sink, and so the high pressure forms a dome, an atmospheric cap over the region. The cap traps the heat instead of allowing it to rise, which halts convection. The end result is the continual buildup of heat on the surface of the earth, and an intense period of heat until the cap breaks. The buildup of heat is measured by land surface temperature, and more recently, NASA's Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectrometer, which describes and processes trends, like heat waves. These tools can be very important to understanding heat waves, like the heat wave of Europe, 03. The ordinary land surface temperature had risen that summer, and most French people didn't know that a slight rise in average temperature could have such an effect. That's why there are over 14,000 casualties. The standard period of warning for a relatively small heat wave is two weeks, but bigger disasters can be predicted as early as 40 days before they happen by tracking high pressure. These scientists are questioning how much extreme heat, climate change, and global warming cause. Many climatologists think that human activity has increased the severity of heat waves and are creating more international disasters, while others are in denial. Thank you, Omana. Now, it is extremely important to stay safe in an extremely dangerous weather event like a heat wave. Even though heat waves cause more death than hurricanes, tornadoes, lightning, flood, and earthquakes and vine, there are a few simple ways to avoid death. First, when it is
is extremely hot. Stay indoors in late morning and early afternoon when the sun is at its peak. Second, drink water to avoid dying of dehydration and to keep cool. Third, plan ahead and buy everything you need to survive before it's sold out. Buy any emergency supplies then, including first aid. Fourth, when you go outside, or even if you are indoors, wear loose, cool clothing and sunscreen. <laughs> Global warming and climate change may be increasing the lethality of heat waves. If it is, as I suspect, be cautious. The extreme heat can cause droughts, kill crops, cause long power outages through overuse of air conditioning. That's not to mention the deaths it causes normally. In the future, if a heat wave reaches you, <laughs> help out your fellow man because uh, I need to see. Because <laughs> the majority of deaths occur in those too weak or unprepared to survive the heat alone. Indeed, Tom. I have heard that there was quite a heated debate about global warming's effect on heat waves, but you can't get caught up in the heat of the moment. No, during a heat wave, it is best to be prepared, hydrated, and to stay cool. Otherwise, you could end up in the hot water. <laughs> Since heat waves are defined by an extreme rise in normal temperature, some places are better equipped to deal with them than others. And make sure you're prepared. After the two-week warning, viewers, but remain calm. It wouldn't go to get hot-headed about heat waves. I don't know what to do with my hands, my hands, it's like I